African Americans are four times more likely to be killed by a gun than the overall population. And once again, it's not a white person that is pulling the trigger. It's another black person. We account for almost 40% of all of the homicide offenders in the United States. 40% coming from the smallest piece of the population. We're talking about, what, 7% of the population is black men, and they're accounting for 40% of all of the homicides in the United States, but let's not talk about that. Yeah, and and that's true. <clears throat> that's true. And people don't want to talk about that when really we have to... And when we hear these stats, we have to ask why. Why is it that things are like this? Is it culturally? Is it socially? Is it... It's not because of your race. It's not because of the race. That's one thing you got to get right. Because a lot of people try to use these statistics and say, look, see, black people are crazy. Black people are evil. And no, no, they use it to push whatever racist agenda they got. But on the other hand, motherfuckers like liberals and people on the left and Democrats, they don't want to talk about this because they don't want to solve the issue. They don't want to solve the issue because they just want your vote. You know what I'm saying? On the other hand, Republicans, eh, do they want to solve it? I don't know. That racist to even acknowledge that truth, to talk about the ills in our own com- community, that's racism. Let's just let's just move on for it. People love to talk about the incarceration rates, right? Because the incarceration rates allow you to understand the result without ever having to talk about the problem, right? You don't have to talk about the equation. I'll just give you the answer. Black men are, are incarcerated, right? It says here that there are nearly five times the rate of black men in prison than white people. Oh, perfect narrative, it must be racism. No, it has nothing to do with the fact that we're the most murderous group in America. It has nothing to do with that. Of course, one plus one equals two, but let's focus on the two and not the one plus one. Let's focus on everything except for the fact that we also know that these individuals that are ending up in prison or these individuals that are ending up killed or these infants that are being taken out of their mother's own womb, they're all coming from broken families, families that had been strategically broken down in a culture that promotes, further promotes the breakdown of family, that corrodes the value of women, that corrodes the value of men. But hey, that wasn't wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt. So who cares? Who cares? Who cares if 20 million black babies are dead? Who cares if half of our black men are locked up? Who cares if black women, half of them are clinically obese and spelling out their own death sentences? Who cares if we represent 40% of all homicide offenders? It doesn't matter because we didn't put it in a Black Lives Matter T. You know what else does it matter? It doesn't matter at all. The education statistics. Don't even pay attention to the fact that 74% of black boys in California can't pass a basic reading exam. 74%? Ooh, I just made a video talking about California is lawless. Let me tell you, bro. That's 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 really bad. That's really bad, bro. Seventy four percent of niggas, of black boys, little black boys can't pass a. You know why? Because we love ignorance. We should celebrate ignorance, right? Who cares that across five schools in an inner city like Baltimore, they couldn't find a single child that was proficient in reading and in writing. Who cares? Who cares that three out of four black boys in California schools cannot meet writing standards? Who cares? It's- but they quick to join the gang, though. They quick to shoot a nigga, rob a nigga. Damn, bro. Damn, man. We're sick. We are sick. We are sick. There is a sickness. There is a... <laughs> I'm a preach. There is a sickness. Deviance. And we don't want it. We don't want it. It's like, how do you solve these issues when the people in charge incentivize these issues? They push these issues. They want black people to fail. And just like from slavery, they want black people to fail. They want to control black people. And they're controlling us very, very well. They're controlling us very well, bro. Damn. It's not in a White Lives Matter t-shirt, so we won't talk about the fact that nearly 80% of black boys in the fourth grade 
failed to meet state reading standards. In California, 80%? None of that stuff, for whatever reason, resonates. No one's ever outraged. It never trends on Twitter. Last night, White Lives Matter was trending on Twitter because... I get the point. I get the point. Their point was, look at all these people are going to start crying if I put White Lives Matter in a shirt. Crying, talking about you're not black, you're not black, you're not black. But you don't see them saying nothing about the actual issues that black people go through. You don't say nothing about the education level. You don't say nothing about the crime of us killing each other. You don't say nothing about the uh, the obesity that's killing ourselves. You don't say nothing about uh, 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 what promoting all the negative shit in the culture. You don't say nothing about that. You don't care. You don't care. It doesn't offend you. You don't care. But if a nigga puts white lives matter on the shirt, oh my gosh, the world is going to end. That's what made you mad? Not the fact that black people are dying and struggling. That's what makes you mad. White lives matter. You want to say black lives matter so much, but show it. Prove it to me that black lives matter. Because right now, it don't seem like y'all give a fuck at all. <sighs> Damn. Kanye West had the nerve and the gall to put that t-shirt on. White lives matter. Now, now the, the press, how dare you? How dare you? What a form of engaging in white supremacy. None of this that I just read to you is white supremacy, but the T-shirt is a form of white supremacy. You know what the problem is? The problem is not what's happening inside the households or what's happening on the streets or the slaughtering that's taken place. The problem is not the women that have been trained to kill their own offspring, not to raise their sons, the men that are on the streets killing one another and putting out music that encourages their offspring to do the same. The real problem in black America is that Kanye and Candace put on a White Lives Matter t-shirt. So mm. let's focus on that instead. Mm. And that's all I have to say about that.